Uh, I want to go to Rod Blagojevich here, uh, former governor of Illinois. I want to ask you how things are doing in sh the Chicago area and, and throughout Illinois. Well, these lockdowns have led to 5,000 businesses in Illinois permanently shutting down. 120,000 people who used to have jobs no longer have jobs. These are small business owners, restaurant owners, family-owned businesses, people who work hard to act, chase the American dream. They buy into what America is all about. Many of these businesses are actually uh, businesses owned by immigrants. Uh, and here again, you have uh, a, a case of people in high places. We have a governor who inherited billions of dollars from his father. He has no understanding of what it's like for a, an ordinary person to start up a business and run a business like the gentleman there from Staten Island. You have the governor over there in New York. He's the son of a governor. He has no understanding about how real people have to deal with everyday problems. The leadership requirements for people like our governors and what I used to be when I was a governor is that you have to do a couple of things. You have to balance public health with uh, the needs of people to uh, pursue a livelihood. And you have to share in the sacrifice and lead by example. When it comes to that latter part, these leaders are failing drastically. Yeah. When it comes to making the proper balance, they're, they're failing too because so right. many more people are hurt because of these lockdowns. It's... Uh, and as a result of that, they can't put food on the table for their families. And it's only going to get worse if they keep doing these lockdowns. It's become a kind of chic thing in uh, democratic politics and democratic states. I, I totally agree. You know, we followed what happened in, in New York with Governor Cuomo and just uh, the horrible policy on the nursing homes that killed so many people. We mm. have a story out of your state, Rod. Uh, an outbreak killed 27 residents of a veteran's home in LaSalle, Illinois. Uh, what are you hearing about this? Well, yes, this is exactly what, what, you, what these issues are. These people are so high up and so far away from where the real people are uh, that they're not aware of what the real consequences are because of the, the everyday struggles people face. And yes, this nursing home situation in LaSalle, Illinois, yeah. mirrors what happened in New York City. That's, and that's... you have uh, the gentleman from Staten Island has an award-winning governor who gets a, an Emmy for his performance <laughs> on COVID. It's such a joke. When you look at New York, for example, and there's yeah. lack of success, I they it. have twice as many deaths in New York State than they do in Florida. I know. And Florida's open. It's not locked down. I got to cut, I gotta cut it there. Democratic governors can learn from the states right. that are open. Rod, I got, I got to cut it there because we are completely out of time before we got to go to another break. Uh, but I do appreciate it. We all know the story. It is so disappointing. Rob Blagoj Rod Blagojevich and Massimo Felice, gentlemen, thank you so much. Newsmax TV is now America's fastest growing cable news channel. We give you the real news you need. So subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up. If you like this video, share it with your friends. Newsmax TV streams live on YouTube for free. Newsmax TV, real news for real people.